Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Nerds Drink Whiskey. Uh, we're going to be discussing today uh, a uh, $22 bottle called uh, Four Roses. Uh, it's Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I guess Brett Elliott is the master distiller uh, that works there, of course, or something. But uh, we're going to try that. But first, we're going to discuss uh, the topic of uh, Marvel Burnout. Yeah, and um, just kind of superhero movies in general. You know. Yeah, and and I mean, I love the Marvel. I love the Marvel that I see so far. I really do. But I have a life outside of watching Marvel stuff, and and it's it's uh, there's so much of it that I'm so far behind now that I would have to take like a two month vacation from work. And like have like a several hundred dollars at my disposal, uh, just to catch up. And it gets a point where I mean, I think they're actually doing themselves a disservice because after a while, people are just like. And I think this is what happens with uh, you were mentioning earlier with the cowboy movies. Yeah. Eventually, you get to the point where it's like, you know what? I can't catch up. There's no way I'm gonna catch up. You know what? Screw it. And you just you just blow the whole thing off because you know you're just you're overwhelmed and it's too much and just I'm done. Yeah, I mean, because right now, yeah, they still make a bunch of money. Uh, movies are pretty much driven by the 15 to 22 year old crowd. Uh, those are what blockbusters cater to. Um, they're not for folks like you and I who actually have you know lives and, and, and responsibilities yeah. and things. Um, that being said, it's yeah, there are more superhero movies that come out every year than there are that I go. And there are movies I see entirely. Um, I mean, like I think I, Deadpool is the only one I've seen this year. It's, that's the superhero I, movie. I, I really want to see Deadpool. I have yet to see Deadpool, even though it's already on DVD. I, I just still haven't. Yeah, no, that one was worth it. Uh, you don't have to watch anything else to get context. Right, uh, right, if you've right. seen some other movies, you might see some recycled footage because uh, they did borrow a couple of little clips. But um, and but other than that, yeah, no, like yeah, uh, just like. We had the decade of westerns where that was, you know, you could watch as many westerns as you possibly wanted, and then they kind of went away, and you, now you get one decent western in a year. Yeah. And I think superhero movies are going to end up about the same, where It'll something will take over. Right, you'll have one really good superhero movie a year, and other than that, it'll be whatever new genre takes over and you know they're trying to get with video game movies to yeah. now and that yeah. kind of thing so we'll see what the next one is but yeah no superhero movies are getting kind of one of the things that makes me want to see the see Deadpool though is is uh, number one it's got uh, uh, Marana Marina Marina Baccarin yeah uh, from from Firefly but also uh, they have a, a new character that was created uh, I think just for them, uh, I think just like recently, but it's a character that was named after a song uh, by one of my favorite bands. Hmm. And so the bands, I mean, there's tons of bands that sing songs about superheroes, mm -hmm. but uh, this is actually a, a, the only thing, I, the only case I know of where a character was actually created or named after a song by the band. When the band wrote the song, the character didn't exist. So who... Do you remember Negasonic, the name of it? Negasonic oh. Teenage Warhead okay. was a was song by funny? Monster Magnet in the early yeah. 90s. Okay. And, uh, and and the song is not about the character because the character was, was invented, be, inspired by the song. So it's... Uh, yeah. But uh, anyways, yeah. it's uh, uh, I love Marvel. I really do. Uh, in the comments. You know, you can... Post your hate mail in the comments uh, about you know how wrong I am and all, and, and I'm telling you, I love Marvel. I love what I've seen. I just, I just don't have enough time to keep up. So uh, I don't know. Do you think? Uh, do you think there's a uh, an oversaturation, a glut, uh, and and how much does that oversaturation and glut? Uh, how much does it ruin your enjoyment of what you do have time to see? Um, and do you think it's going to hurt? Because well, let's face it, these super nerd fans, the hardcore fans, are not enough to warrant those ridiculously large budgets. Yeah. Um, yeah, If it, it has to appeal to a fairly wide audience. Yeah. It, although, I have to say, personally, I stopped watching more of the movies when they cared less about the plot and more about the explosions. Yeah. So, if, if all it is is 
to is a an excuse to blow things up, I'm less interested in it than if that's blowing things up for a reason. When they hire Asylum Productions to start doing the Marvel movies, mm -hmm. uh, we know that the the, the, the audience has started to shrink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and and of course, my wife would then probably be more inspired to watch because she's a huge fan of Asylum. So uh, let's uh, let's drink some whiskey. Uh, maybe drink some whiskey to to Marvel and to superheroes and Deadpool and all that. Um, so uh, this is uh, Four Roses. Yeah, apparently and, uh, named after uh, a woman's corsage from the right. uh, the original distiller. So. All right. Well, yeah. two 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 women and their corsages. Kind of reminiscent of uh, the whiskey we drank a couple weeks ago, but this has more of a bite. Um, this is more complex, I think, than the, than the uh, fifty dollar whiskey we had last week. Yeah, no, I'm. I think I've had Four Roses a time or two before, and I've always found it uh, perfectly fine. Um, For a twenty one dollar bottle, this yeah. is not bad. Yeah, no, I'm I'm fine with this. And and like I said, this is better than I would say the fifty dollar bottle we drank last week, Angel's Envy. Mm -hmm. So um, again, what is what did you say? You say price is just a number? Yeah. Yeah, price is just a number. This is a twenty one dollar bottle. It's better than the fifty dollar bottle we drank last week. So yeah, I like, I like the flavor, but um, I don't know the mouthfeel seems a little weak on my in my mind. Hmm. I think that was the main, the one thing about last week, the Angel's Envy, was the mouthfeel was really good on that one. So, whatever oils it seeped in from the barrel or whatever. Um, whereas this one just feels a little thin. I don't know. Hmm. I actually like the, 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 initial, the initial taste when you first uh, put it in is good. Um, you know, when you kind of move your tongue around a little bit, uh, mm -hmm. get it moving. Uh, it, it yeah, the flavor is yeah, I like the um, flavor. And the, is, now, is it the finish? When you say mouthfeel, do you mean no? The I mean, like physically, the way if it, if it had no flavor at all, what would be left is the way it would feel in your mouth. Okay. And okay. that's what I mean by mouthfeel, is and the right. way it kind of interacts with your touch receptors. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Me, I I like the bite. Um, it. Uh, I don't know. What's the proof on that? Oh, uh, I think it's close to eighty. It. Uh, yeah, 80 proof. 80 proof. So this has got, this is less proof, I think, than the Angel's Envy, isn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, Angel's Envy is a Angel's Envy more. Has, a, has a higher proof, but this has, a, to me, a better bite. Yeah, there's definitely more bite in the end there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, what do you think? What do you think? Less corn? Well, it's it, this is actual bourbon, so it has to be at least 51% corn. Mm -hmm. um, so... As for how much of that, um, yeah, or they just more of the sugars are turned into alcohol or kept not kept yeah. around or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, not quite as sweet, but um, yeah, it works for me. Cool. All right. So uh, uh, between price and taste uh, and overall experience, I am gonna say recommend for Four Roses uh, mm -hmm. for a, for a lower end for a lower end bourbon. Uh, recommend. Yeah. No, I'm. Yeah, it works for me. All right. I'll take it. All right. Two recommends for four roses. See you next week. <laughs>